happens when life breaks down, when there is systemic contradiction. My name symbolized all that was corrupt to society. His name symbolized all that was pure. And I was being held in the embrace of a man who was pure. And these inviolable sanctities were preserved in those ten words. And it is the desacralization of all of these that has put us in the mess that we find ourselves. Isn't it true? Alas, it is much worse. A person may end up believing in anything. Hello everyone. Hi. Hi. If you don't know already, my name is Sonny. And on behalf of Tiffany and Matt, I'd like to welcome you all to this very special occasion. And thank you for making the journey to join them here today. Now it was when Matt came to Beether to visit his best friend Adam that he met Tiffany for the first time at Ibiza Rocks. Their first encounter was an evening out with Adam and Sarah when they all made their way to Ibiza Rocks house at Pasha where our paths also crossed. <laughs> For the first time, as I was hosting karaoke in a bathtub in the ladies' toilet. You had to be there. Now Matt invited Tiffany to see Beauty and the Beast at a theatre in Dubai and after the show the topic of weddings came up so they casually discussed how and when they'd get married and it was in mid-conversation that Matt simply said well shall we? Oh, I have to set this one to the right time. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> ah. Now this ceremony will not create a relationship that does not already exist between you. And you both bring with you so many years of love and happiness. It is an opportunity to acknowledge how far you have come together and to be grateful for the love that you both share. Let that love grow deeper, truer, more generous as the years go by. And then on the inside arm, it says made in Italy. <laughs> JMG. And on the other arm. MNT. Oh, mate. There you go. You killed it. 
And now not many people will know this, but today is Tiff's dad's birthday. And so my very first toast today is for him. <laughs> and that is for Gary, and it's a happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday Gary. Gary. was trapped inside his cage of ice. Although he was cold, he was happy in there. It was, after all, his cage. Then along came the lovely other dinosaur. <laughs> the lovely other dinosaur melted the dinosaur's cage with kind words and loving thoughts. I like this dinosaur, thought the lovely other dinosaur. <laughs> though he's fierce, he's also tender and he's funny. He's also quite clever, though I'm not gonna tell him this for now. I like this lovely dinosaur, thought the dinosaur. She's beautiful, she's different, but she smells so nice. <laughs> she's also a free spirit, which is a quality I much admire in a dinosaur. Now the dinosaur and the lovely either dinosaur are older. Look at them. Together they stand on the hill, telling each other stories and feeling the warmth of the sun on their backs. And that, my friends, is how it is with love. Let us all be dinosaurs and lovely other dinosaurs together, for the sun is warm and the world is a beautiful place. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Beautiful. Matthew, Tiffany, look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing partner, cycling buddy, even teacher, for you have learned much from one another over the years. And now with a few words that you'll say to each other, the promises that you will make, you will enter the next chapter of your lives moving forward as husband and wife.
Tiflar. <laughs> <laughs> you are my best friend and my adventure buddy, the love of my life. And I vow going into our life together to give you my everything and to love you more and more each day. I vow to love you as you deserve to be loved, with admiration, adoration, passion and respect, and to treat you like the amazing woman that you are, even when you're slightly bossy, overly organised or hangry. <laughs> I vow to support your interests and nourish your passions, from your inspiring dedication to fitness, to your love of travelling and experiencing the world, and even your obsession with reading menus and restaurants that we will never eat. <laughs> I vow to remain loyal to you, to take you seriously when you need to be taken seriously, and to laugh with you the rest of the time. I vow to take care of you, to walk every beach you walk, climb every mountain you climb, and smash every brunch you smash. <laughs> Even the ones without a champagne option. <laughs> Tiff, you are not only beautiful, hilarious and honest, you're also kind, generous and loving. And that is why I'm so excited to begin this chapter of my life with you. I love you and I can't wait for this adventure together to begin. You are the reason I wake up with a smile on my face. You are my rock and my inspiration, my number one duet partner and adventure buddy. And I vow going into our lives together to always be hand in hand with you to chase sunsets and discover new favorite places. I vow to love you as you deserve to be loved with admiration, adoration, passion and respect and to treat you like my best friend at all times, even when you're snoring when you're drunk. <laughs> And now for the exchanging of the wedding rings. Um, can I call oh. Dylan over, please? Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very much. I vow to remain loyal to you, to take you seriously when you need to be taken seriously, and to laugh with you the rest of the time. I vow to take care of you, to make you cheesy mash when you're feeling ill, order you a pizza when you come home drunk from brunch and create our best life together. Matt, you are my whole world, my absolute best friend and love of my life. And that is why I'm going to not cry. <laughs> that is why I'm so proud to stand here today and marry you. I love you with everything that I am and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives chasing our dreams and making incredible memories together. <laughs> You've both made vows of commitment to one another, witnessed by your friends and family. You have pronounced yourself partners for life, but remember to always be each other's best friend. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years. May happiness be your companion, and your days together be good and long upon the earth. Matt, Tiffany. I hereby pronounce you married, and all that now remains is that you seal your love for each other with a kiss.
There's a magic I can't hold Your smile, I'll find it gold And that you never seem to be in short supply Ooh, so baby, let's get it on Drinking wine and killing time Sitting in the summer sun On behalf of my wife and I. Yeah! Yeah! I'd like to tell you all to quieten down. I want to say absolutely a massive thank you to everybody who is here uh, in our favourite place on earth, which is Ibiza. We're in Pikes. We just got married here. And honestly, it means the absolute world that so many people would come and spend time with us. So a huge thank you. For two years I thought, I'd better, I better start writing. I haven't written a single thing for this. And at two o'clock, three o'clock this morning, when I couldn't sleep, it dawned on me why. And it's because it's impossible to put into words what you need. You are literally the best thing on earth. I cannot put into 
words just how much you mean. You are amazing in every single way. You are beautiful, you are hilarious, you boss me around and because you should. I could go on forever and ever about just how like everything but no, literally no words will do it justice other than to say I love you to the ends of the earth and nothing makes me prouder than to stand in front of all of these amazing people, the people who mean most to us and tell you how much I am looking forward to the rest of our life together and thank you for everything you do for me. To Tifla. don't know me, I'm the youngest of the three. Sensible Naomi and clever Tiffany. Oh, <laughs> I am Naomi, maid of honour and big sis, here to tell you about my incredible middle sister Tiff. I am Misha, best friend and sidekick. A little insight to Tiff and I, I'll be nice, don't panic. <laughs> Our childhood was built full of laughter and fun, always playing outside or holidaying in the sun. Reenacting Disney movies, Mary Poppins all the way, using umbrellas to fly off the play equipment, we really knew how to play. <laughs> Tie your skateboard to the bike, I said. It didn't take much persuading, you were easily led. Playing out front, from lamppost and back, I pushed Tiffany off her skateboard, all we heard was her tooth crack. We spent days on the beach, our parents were holiday mad, soggy feta sandwiches that Tiff always buried in the sand. Matching outfits for us three, shorts all year round for dad. Mum lived in a shell suit, now that was really bad. <laughs> Our hobbies were fairly different to all the kids in school. Growing up with country music, not sure if that was cool. Line dancing, singing, shows, games and more. Growing up with sisters was never a bore. Dad put us through our paces to make sure we were the best. The hardest line dance ever was to put us to the test. A talent show was entered, we aced it and had fun. <laughs> to see mum and dad's happy faces after a holiday was one. Yay! <laughs> Fast forward to 2007, Sports Science is where we met. Best friends since day one, we were the loud, crazy duet. From Las Vegas to the slopes, Magalief and Ibiza too. Travelling the world together, so many memories I hope can continue. Although we live on opposite sides of the world, all we need is a phone to speak each day. If ever I need you for a chat, reassurance or a laugh, I always know I can count on you straight away. Tiff and Matt met here in Ibiza while she was working at Ibiza Rocks. He wooed her while eating tapas and doing lots of shots. Whatever his chat up line, it clearly did the trick. Or maybe it was something else. His enormously big feet. <laughs> oh, oh. Mic dropped. With all the joking and stories, of seeing who Tiffany has become and all she has achieved and accomplished makes me feel so, so proud. I knew that whoever could win her heart would have to be someone very special, and Matt to me just as special as Tiffany. They are a perfectly matched pair, same driven personalities, learning from one another to build a team that is a force to be reckoned with. 
I know that Matt will take care of her and that Tiffany will always take care of him. We are so proud of you. Mum is, our dad definitely would have been, and I know he's looking down seeing what a beautiful, strong, independent woman you are. And Matt, he would have been so pleased to have had you as a son-in-law. Please join us in a toast to the new Mr. I've known Matt for about 10 years now. We started working together on the very same day um, at Apple and immediately became best friends. He came out to our youth, obviously had an amazing time with the Rocks crew um, and met Tiff. And, and when he came back, it was completely clear that he was completely smitten. And seeing them as we do all the time, it's really clear how committed they are to each other, how much they love each other. And actually, you know, they knew straight away that they were kind of made to be. And I think we're really proud, Jess and I, to say that you know, we welcome Tiff into our group and we consider ourselves all best friends. The story of how Matt and Tiff met has been covered beautifully by a couple of people. But it is true, that is absolutely true. Matt was coming to spend two weeks with me and it was supposed to be whilst I was working here. He'd be staying at mine and just would be chilling out and having fun. And do you know what? I just didn't see him. <laughs> just didn't see him. And it's so lovely that we're here now with all of our families here together in Pikes. Because when I was here, you never actually made it to Pikes. Because, uh, <laughs> You were always busy elsewhere. Oh. We'd finish the gig, and there'd always be, there'd always be. I'm in a, I'm in a cab. I'm going to be coming now, and uh, yeah. So it's so nice to finally have a night out of Pikes that you're here. Yeah, yeah. We're both finally turned up to something. In all seriousness, Don't whenever I've needed Matt, he's answered a FaceTime call. <laughs> whenever I've needed him, he's answered a telephone call. He's been at the end of every message. No matter what time, no matter what time zone I'm in, I've messaged him and said, are you there? And he's like, always mate. And I don't know how many times I've got in my phone, always mate. Every time I send him a message saying, are you there? Please welcome your newlywed sister and Mrs. Bennett! Yeah!
to know that he's brought this wonderful person into my life as well. Um, it's been my pleasure to be able to look after you this week, to be able to travel the other side of the world. Oh! <laughs> Are there kids there? I'm not going to finish my sentence. If you want to know what I was about to say, just come and grab me. I'm on table eight. <laughs> okay. I'm going to end it now, mate. I love you both incredibly. I'm single. And if any, <laughs> I'll be sat here. I love you all. Thank you so much. Let's have a toast. Wee! To Matt and Tiff. To Matt and Tiff! Boys, boys, boys. Like water on